Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn about interoperability with respect to IoT. So, actually what is interoperability? As the definition indicates, interoperability is a characteristics of a product or a system whose interfaces are completely understood to work with other products or system present or future in their implementation or access without any restrictions. So let us assume there are two machines. So it can be some electronic or electrical products connected to the internet or it can be a systems. Okay. So it can be uh, currently in real time or for the future purpose in order to have an access between these two systems or in order to have an exchange of data or in order to work uh, for a particular application uh, with respect to these two systems, we need to have a proper communication between these systems or machines. Okay. So interoperability is nothing but an operational ability between these two products, machines or systems. Okay. Such that they will be communicating meaningfully and they can also exchange the data or the services. Okay. So First, we need to know why interoperability is important in the context of IoT. Okay. So there are so many IoT objectives. So in order to fulfill these IoT objectives, interoperability is very much considered. Okay. So uh, let's see the what are the objectives. Physical objectives or uh, physical objects can interact with any other physical objects and they can share their information. So these objects can be uh, systems, machines, okay, or uh, some sort of products connected to the internet, okay. These physical objects which are integrated with the sensors, okay, or a sensor mechanism, okay. So the major aim is to, or the objective is to share their information with one another, okay. So any device can communicate with other devices anytime from anywhere. Obviously, if it is connected to an internet, these devices can communicate with the another devices anytime from anywhere, okay. Now, machine to machine communication, device to device communication, device to machine communication falls under these IoT objectives, okay. So, we also need to have a seamless device integration with IoT network. So using a simple internet connection. So we need to have an complex device integrations as well. So in order to satisfy a particular application. So in order to fulfill all these objectives, interoperability is one of the important context considered in the IoT. See, why interoperability is required generally because of the heterogeneity. Okay. So heterogeneity is nothing but there are several types of IoT uh, machines or devices. Okay, each will be working on their own uh, uh, according to the different different applications. Okay, and each device will be having its own uh, language, how to communicate, or the protocols, and it differs uh, product to the product or the device to the device. Okay, so whenever all these machines or devices are brought together. And we expect that to work for a particular application, there will be a lot of problems occurring. So interoperability is very much required in order to have a proper communication between all these type of different types of devices to perform a particular task in order to satisfy the application needs. Okay. So heterogeneity is also considered. So here uh, we get several types of wireless communications where uh, uh, protocols are considered like Zigbee, Bluetooth, GPRS, Six Low Pan, and Wi-Fi, and all these uh, uh, protocols are considered. If at all you take the wired communication, Ethernet, higher land layer uh, land protocols, all these are considered. If at all we consider the programming languages with respect to the um, uh, softwares we use for the IoT or the devices or the hardware system we use, okay, it can be considered as the embedded C, okay, JavaScript, C, C++, Visual Basic, PHP, Python, all each and every different types of IoT systems will be having their own programming languages in order to satisfy the requirement or the design, okay. And we can also, uh, IoTs come across different hardware platforms such as Crossbow, 
and several uh, many things are there uh, node mcu and so many are there etc etc so interoperability is very much required in order to have or satisfy this heterogeneity now let's see what are the different types of interoperability so we have mainly two types of interoperability one is user interoperability second one is device interoperability okay so coming to the user interoperability so interoperability problem between a user and a device so we are going to satisfy the or rectify the problem uh, between the user as well as device whenever a person tries to use a uh, use a particular device an iot device or to communicate with an iot device so this particular user interoperability is very much considered okay coming to the device interoperability here the problem arises between two different devices whenever there are two different devices want to communicate with each other in order to satisfy an iot application the, there will be several problem arises so uh, in order to satisfy those problems so we will be using this particular device interoperability okay now let's see what is a user interoperability as well as device interoperability one by one see coming to the user interoperability so the following problems need to be solved one is device identification and categorizing for the discovery once you start using the hardware with respect to the iot so these particular devices need to be identified and also categorized okay in order to have a safe uh, communication or exchange of data okay the second one is syntactic interoperability for the device interaction and the third one is semantic interoperability for the device interaction what is syntactic and what is semantic we are going to see now okay see so before uh, getting into um, these particular uh, three variations with respect to user or the device interoperability let's see uh, a basic example okay so a person or a user from america uh, want to access a CCTV cameras. One is located in the India, like Delhi or some part of India, and another camera is located in some Tokyo or J uh, Japan. Okay, so in real time, a person sitting in or a user sitting in an America can access two different security cameras from two different countries of the world. Okay, so that too in real time. So interoperability should be very much maintained so user need to have a proper communication between the camera present in the india as well as camera present in the tokyo and not only that the two cameras need to have a uh, communication if needed if the application is required okay or the if the application demands okay so there should be a proper communication between the cameras as well as there should be a proper communication between the user as well as the camera. Here the cameras are considered as the devices and the person who is monitoring or altering that particular or controlling the cameras, okay, can be considered as the user, okay. So now let's see how this interoperability with respect to device as well as user works. See, first thing is coming to the user interoperability. So we have device identification and categorization for discovery, okay? So in order to identify a proper device like a camera which is present in a particular country or a location, we need to have some unique addresses. So these addresses can be provided with respect to electronic product code EPC, universal product code UPC, uniform resource identifier URI, and the most popular one is the IP addresses we have with respect to IoT, mostly we will be using IPv6, okay? So these provide unique codes or the addresses in order to identify a particular device or categorize a particular device, uh, which is applied for the IoT applications. Now, coming to the syntactic interoperability for device interaction, let's see what are these covers, okay? So in the syntactic interoperability, the interoperability between devices and device user in terms of message formats. So whoever the user who is using a particular device, look, using an IoT, so in terms of message formats, there should be some sort of communication, okay? So 
the message format from a device to a user should be understandable okay for the user computer the user whoever using that particular interface or the software okay so the device message for a uh, format let me take an example of same user as well as camera okay whatever the data sent from the camera should be understandable by the software or the uh, uh, user interface used by the user okay now on the other hand uh, this message whatever the person uh, who is controlling that particular camera whatever the message he sent that also format also should be executable by the device okay suppose let me turn the camera to a particular position okay so based on the controls given by the user so the camera will need to be turned it does that particular operation only when it understands the message format right so a uh, syntactic it's it's a kind of syntax so both formats the camera device format or the user for computer format both should uh, need to be understandable by the each other then only this particular syntactic interoperability for the device interaction is very much uh, completed okay now if you see the semantic interoperability for the device interaction here what does it do is interoperability between the device and device user in terms of message meaning okay not only uh, as we have seen in the syntactic uh, the message formats need to be understandable understandable but coming to the semantic not only the message formats the message meaning also should be understandable by both the device as well as the uh, user who is operating or monitoring that particular device okay so the device can understand the meaning of user's instruction so the device need to understand the user instruction whatever the instruction has been given by the user whether to zoom in zoom out with respect to camera or to whether to uh, capture a screenshot or a record a video or in order to uh, um, rotate the camera anything okay so the meaning of the uh, message format also should be understandable by the uh, device uh, as we have taken the example of a camera okay not only that similarly the user can also need to understand the meaning of device response sent from the device if at all the the camera is moving okay let us say okay in real time we should also need to receive the responses with respect to a meaningful responses so not only the message formats with respect to syntactic interoperability and also semantic the meaning also should be with respect to the message also should be conveyed properly okay coming to the next one device interoperability okay here we are communicating between device to the device okay so user and device is most commonly done but the communication between device and device should be uh, very much taken care suppose two devices are there two devices are made in two different countries let us say each device will be having different types of sensors different types of actuators different types of controllers the programming language may differ or the or the overall configuration may be differing okay so whenever you want to communicate with two different things okay a middleware bridge is very much required so in order to have a proper communication between two different devices okay a bridge is a must so here universal middleware bridge umb in short we call it as that has been involved okay such that each and every device can communicate with each other properly it can be in the message format or it can be in the meaningful format as well if you see the diagram over here we have power lines ethernet we have camera surveillance and we have everything right so all these things each and everything is having its own programming language or the protocol and all these things are connected to this particular umb universal middleware bridge this middleware bridge acts as a translator or it it creates several options for the both the devices such that it, they can have proper exchange of data so it solves interoperability problems caused by the heterogeneity of several kinds with respect to home network middleware okay not only that the universal middleware bridge creates virtual maps 
along the physical devices and it also creates the compatibility among the middleware home networks okay so on the whole what we want to say is it helps or acts as a bridge between two different devices which are made of different protocols hardware or software interfaces but both can tra um, translate or exchange the data to have or fulfill a particular iot application that comes under device interoperability